Hello everybody, welcome back to another day of savings. I'm the Mustard Couponer and today I have a Walmart haul to show you guys. I would have much rather filmed these deals for you guys in the store. However, with Christmas right around the corner, it's pretty much guaranteed that Walmart is going to be packed up until New Year's. And there was just no way I was going to be able to film without getting in somebody's way or picking up somebody's conversation in the recording. I only used three Peely coupons in this entire transaction, but everything else I did not use a single printable or a single insert coupon for anything that you see here. I will be making a separate Walmart video to show how this haul could look a little different if you used printable coupons, because I don't buy inserts anymore. But this video is to show you guys how you can still save money on everyday items using only rebate apps. So to get started, these Listerine Access Flossers are regular price $1.97 and we have a $2 Ibotta rebate that is attaching to them making each one of them completely free and a 3 cent money maker. And the rebate is a limit of 3, so if you pick up all 3 it's a total of a 9 cent money maker. This Pure Leaf Cold Brew Tea is regular price, $1.98, and we have a free after offer on Ibotta for $1.98 back. This Afrin Nasal Spray is regular price, $4.98. There is $2 back on Ibotta, and then $4 back on Shopkick, making it completely free and a $1.02 money maker. This Alba Botanica Face and Body Scrub was $6.18. There was a $2 Peely coupon on some neighboring Alba products. It wasn't attached to this exact bottle, so I just peeled it off the other one and used it for this item. So in store, I paid $4.18 for it. I bought it, gave back $1.50. And then on Shopkick, there's 800 kicks back, which is equivalent to $3.20, making my final cost free plus a $0.52 cent money maker. And there were several different Ibotta offers available, so you could get different Botanica products. However, the Shopkick is only a limit of one, and you have to wait until it resets if you want to get something else. This Frosted Flakes cup of cereal is $0.97, cents, and we have 300 kicks back on Shopkick, which is equivalent to $1.20, making this cup completely free and a $0.33 cent money maker. I don't want to butcher this name, but this brand of almond butter has a little single-serve packet that you see here for $0.98, cents, and then Shopkick has $1.30 back on any almond butter product. So that makes this completely free and a 32 cent money maker. The Welch's Sparkling Cider is $2.98 and we have 500 kicks back from Shopkick, which is $2, making it only 98 cents. This Dove Bar is 97 cents and we have an offer on Shopkick for 115 kicks back, which is equivalent to 46 cents making this bar only 51 cents. This travel size Advil is $1.98 and Shopkick has 500 kicks back on any Advil product which is $2 making it completely free and a 2 cent money maker. Suave shampoo and conditioner are $1.98 each. You're going to pick up one of each of them and scan them into Shopkick for 20 cents back for each scan, and then you're going to pay $3.96 at the register, and then submit to Shopkick for 1,200 kicks back. And when you add the 40 kicks from the scan kicks, your equivalent back is $4.96, making your final cost completely free and a $1 money maker. These Batiste dry shampoos are $6.48. There are $2 Peely coupons available for these. Again, just like the Botanica, I did not find the Peely coupons on these. I had to find them on a separate Batiste product. Some couponers don't like to use Peely coupons from items they didn't buy. But since I was actually going to buy this product that day, I had no problem taking them off of 
another product. But anyway, buying two of these is going to bring your total up to $12.96. If you find those two Peely coupons, you'll pay $10.96. And then if you submit to Swagbucks, you'll get back $10 leaving your final cost only $0.96 cents for two of them. And the last thing I picked up was a loaf of the Sara Lee Delightful Bread. They are $2.68, and you have to pick up the one that says Keto Friendly on it because Shopkick is giving back 500 kicks for the Sara Lee Keto Friendly Bread, which is equivalent to $2.00. And then Ibotta is giving back 65 cents, making this loaf of bread only 3 cents. And that is everything I picked up today, you guys. Here is my receipt. You can see the $1 Peely coupons right here. They scanned no problem. I did have a problem with the Alba Botanica one scanning, so my cashier just had to punch that in manually for me. And my final subtotal was $42.53. And the total amount that I got back from all of my rebate apps was $40.93, leaving my final cost only $1.60 plus tax. That breaks down to only $0.10 cents an item and a 96% savings using practically no coupons. There were a few more items I wanted to pick up, but even before the pandemic, my Walmart has been notorious for being out of the most random things. I hope this video was helpful to any beginner couponers out there who haven't quite built up to printing coupons or buying inserts yet and just want to get some savings without keeping up with all of that mess. And with nothing left to show you guys, if you like the video, please leave a like. If you know somebody who needs to save a couple bucks on the things they use every day, please share this video with them. And if you want to see more money-saving content, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!